This movement is known as the arm wash rag. So we're going to try and wring out the tension between left and right side, the shoulder girdle, as well as up and down the spine. You'll be lying on your back with your knees bent at a right angle. Feet can be contacting each other flat on the floor. And as you're lying down, you'll bring your arms out away from the body so that they create a T or are perpendicular at right angles from the midline or the spine. Look to see that the wrist, elbow, and shoulder are lined up right across with the opposite, line, the opposite arm. Don't trust that this feels like a straight line. Actually look, and you might be surprised how one arm is slightly off-center. So in this position, you'll be taking one arm and rotating the palm upward while the other arm has the palm face down toward the floor. And you'll just switch places with those arms, rotating one upward while the other one rotates downward. Now it's very easy just to use the wrist and the forearm and have all the movement come from the elbow, but we're really trying to incorporate the shoulder as best we can. So in this position, feel the entire arm rotate with the palm down. You'll get to experience, hopefully, that shoulder lifting off the ground while the other one lowers toward the floor. And as you alternate back and forth with these arm actions, you'll experience how that dictates movement up above a little bit into the head and neck. So as the palm flips upward, allow your head to turn in that direction, away from the palm down. Just continue this alternating pattern, internally rotating one arm while externally rotating the other. Allowing the head to rotate freely toward the palm that's flipping up. Now you can also incorporate hip motion where you rotate the pelvis away from the direction the head is rotating. You'll find that there's a certain pace that you must maintain or else everything goes off sequence. What does this feel like as you rotate back and forth? Is it easier to fall away to one side than the other? Does one arm feel a little bit different when it's rotating compared to the other? This is a great way to check in with how your body moves, but at the same time, it's going to unlock a lot of those areas that may be pent up. And like any other mobility or strength exercise, you're going to do an assessment prior to performing this and then follow it up with an assessment to make sure that this is the proper exercise or movement for you.